This video is sponsored by Whale Street. Whale Street is the DeFi engine that powers NFT economics at a massive scale. It engineered B20, the largest ever NFT bundle containing 20 Beeple NFTs, fractionizing it into the B20 token. The B20 buyout bundle option is now live. Anyone with 5% of the overall supply of B20 tokens can now bid to buy the entire bundle. Check it all out at b20.metaverse.fund. Thanks for the sponsorship. Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So the news um, looking at today is concerning uh, Alien Worlds token, the TLM token. Um, and it is the latest uh, token to uh, go onto the Binance launch pool. So I've done quite a lot of videos in the past about um, sort of Binance um, and uh, it's kind of influence in, in uh, launching game tokens and, and um, you yeah, know, can be very positive, I guess, as we saw with the Axie um, AXS token and with the Sand token as well. Um, that sort of uh, worked out very well in terms of, well, at least it, it kind of launched um, those tokens and those tokens have performed very well since. Um, more recently, we've had the Alice token from uh, My Neighbor Alice, the new game uh, coming out from Swedish developer uh, Antler Interactive. That launched very high. Yeah, obviously, that kind of launched it in a in the bull run, um, and and that token has has gone down um, by about two thirds since the Binance launch. So um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, Binance obviously is massive uh, kind of crypto brand has loads of uh, kind of users with with tons of crypto and always looking for um, make more money. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, if you can get uh, Binance people to be holding your token, that's pretty good in general. It does sort of depend if there's if they're just dumping it at launch. So obviously, that's the kind of big issue for, for any um, asset, you know, IPOs or anything like that. What people tend to do is if they think they're going to make a lot of money at launch, then they just make the money, take take the you know take the uncertainty out of the ownership of that token. Um, they don't really care if it goes up more in in six months' time. They'll, they'll, they'll take the money now. Thank you very much. So um, that's the kind of the um, that's the risk reward you have with Binance in particular. Um, now, Alien Worlds is sort of interesting in the sense that it is a game that is already live to some degree. So it's been live for um, kind of three three months now, running on the Wax blockchain. Um, it, it, it's an idle game, so it's not particularly exciting as a as a game. You're basically mining. Um, in fact, you're mining these tokens. So this this TLM token, you can just go out and mine it. You can mine it quicker if you buy better NFTs and equip them. You bet you buy better sort of tools, and you can that means you can kind of um, get more of these of this token. Um, also, there's NFTs. You can, you can, if you're lucky, you can mine some NFTs, um, and then obviously you can sell the NFTs on onto other people. So, so there is a basic kind of blockchain ec economy going on there here, um, and it's kind of interesting. Now we're going to have these people with a lot of value coming in and basically getting a lot of this coin. So it's going to drive a lot, <laughs> going to drive a lot of, of usage, um, but we're not quite sure how the dynamics going to play out. So anyway, the Binance bit of it is people. On Binance can stake their BNB and their um, and their Binance um, stablecoin, um, and they can farm these tokens over twenty debt over thirty days. Um, so that uh, the total supply available is ten billion, um, and the that's there's ten billion in total. Sorry, I should say, and the launch pool token rewards is uh, one hundred and fifty million, and currently there's about one billion, one point two billion kind of currently in circulation. So. Um, so it's, it's, it, from that point of view, it's a fairly small amount um, that's being uh, that's going to be kind of basically sort of airdropped, really, to, or at least kind of farmed by these Binance people. Um, one interesting other thing is at the same time this is happening, the uh, Alien Worlds team have made uh, made their token um, cross chain. So at the moment, it's just a Wax token. So Wax is the uh, is, is a blockchain, sort of a version of the EOS blockchain. Um, so the, the game is running on the Wax blockchain. They're also taking the token to Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. Um, so uh, it, it, it's not quite clear sort of uh, if how that will impact the, the game per se. It looks like there may be some game elements um, kind of going onto these chains as well, because otherwise why do it? I would imagine uh, probably more on the Binance Smart Chain side of things, because why would you bring, why would you bring, uh, certainly why would you bring the NFTs to Ethereum, because it's just too expensive to, um, to deal with gas fees. So I can't see the game going going on Ethereum. Maybe at some point they're going to put the game on, on Polygon or something, I don't know. Uh, but you, you've got quite a lot of moving parts already in this. You've got, a whole, you've got all these tokens, 150 million tokens are going to get dumped on the market effectively. Um, although every day people are mining these anyway, so maybe it's not such a big deal. But all the, also at the same time, you've got these 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 uh, 
this token currently wax going going cross chain probably quite a lot of the wax stuff will go onto binance smart chain um i guess that will drive kind of usage in the sense people might start um uh kind of yield farming it uh, in some of the binance smart chain DeFi dApps or something like that um you know i don't really know that's that's um uh, uh subject uh, not subjection that's a kind of um kind of rumor on, on on my part um but yeah just say a lot, a lot of moving parts um we can also go and have a quick look um here there's a bit more detail in into how binance is sort of positioning so here's a bit of research that binance have done so it just goes waffles on a little bit about the game i should point out the game the game is sort of only in the first stages so there's a whole bunch of other stuff to come in there's like P pvp battles and, and, and various other stuff coming in um, so it's, it's the very early stages. Um, also, there's some sort of, you know, there's, there's sort of governance stuff going on here. You can stake, um, you can stake your, your tokens into different planets. Uh, and this sort of stuff is not particularly well worked out at the moment. Um, interesting to see the cut, the project has already raised $2.5 million and it's done that from token sales. So the, um, so you can see here that th these were sold at, um, you know, sort of roughly the same price. I mean, 0.002 and 0.003. Um, already the price compared to these uh, seed rounds or pre-seed rounds has already increased 10x. So the price currently in US dollars is 0.02. So the people who have, the companies who have bought this at uh, this earlier stage, which is actually only announced a couple of months ago, um, have already 10x their involvement. Obviously they they probably, they own like 10% of total supply, so they can't dump that on the market already. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, it would look to, to be sort of, sort of quite a, quite a good deal um, that they, they carried out there. Um, but it's the game is still sort of got, got a long way to go. Um, and we can see here again, just the initial breakdown of what's going on here. So the Binance uh, launch pool is, is about 3% um, of, of, of uh, or will be 3% of what's going on there. Um, and already you're, you know, you see how this stuff is sort of breaking down already. It's, it's, it's the typical sort of, um, you know, not quite clear what any of these things actually mean. <laughs> um, I guess staking rewards is what the players are currently earning. So um, if you stake in the game, that, that's where that amount's coming. So the Binance Smart Pool is basically going to be dumping 3% of the total supply, um, obviously a lot more of the current supply. Um, and staking rewards, is that's going to be for the, you know, presumably for the um, the lifetime of the project until there's some other mechanic sort of sort of comes in here so um yeah not to say obviously not invest not investment advice um but uh it'll be interesting to see as i say with binance smart chain with binance people coming in um are you actually by giving them these tokens effectively for free just for staking their their other tokens are you actually engaging them in the project or are you just giving them some free money um normally i think these uh these it goes one way or the other <laughs> i don't think there's a lot of middle ground um uh, and but, but you know sometimes gaining the um, I guess you can have a halo effect that, that by getting it onto Binance then other people who aren't necessarily gonna gonna farm on Binance kind of pick, prick up their ears and go well this is obviously you know a project that's going somewhere so you so you sort of accumulate other other people because as, as, as you know this this token it was a bit different for um, for Axie Infinity and Sand uh, but actually Axie Infinity you couldn't get they launched the a the AXS token on Binance you couldn't get it anywhere else to begin with that was how the token launched. Um, whereas with, with, with the TML, um, sorry, with the TLM token, you can already buy it. You can go to, I mean, uh, granted, there's not a lot of liquidity on the wax, uh, on the wax um, uh, dexes, but you can buy it on on the dexes. You can just play the game and get, you know, a tiny amount for free every day. So it's a slightly different sort of sort of mechanic. Um, but we will be interested to see anyway. Keep my eye on what's going on. Generally, with the uh, with the Binance uh, launch pool um, and and also in future for. Um, uh, Alien World, which is which has proven to be, um, ha, you know, it's it's gaining quite a lot of wallets. It is one of the most uh, popular blockchain games out there. I think there's probably an awful lot of bots running it at the moment because you can. It's very easy to bot, um, and but you're basically giving away currency, and this currency is clearly looking like it's gonna um, or has increased in value, and and it's clearly looking like it's probably um, going to be increasing in value over the uh, short term at least. So obviously that just then encourages people to run. Um, you know, potentially thousands of bots um, to kind of like suck up all this all this currency, which then at some point they'll dump. So it will go probably through a, a typical um, short term uh, pump and dump, I would imagine, uh, not investment advice. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World Daily, a daily slice of, of what's going on in this uh, crazy world. Please subscribe to the channel. But thanks for watching and see you again soon.